queue key is for commenting out your code. So if you have a lot of code in your event sheet and you need to keep organized, select your event and hit Q on the keyboard. Then you can type out what your code is actually saying. In this case, the enemy has landed. Now you can obviously point out your mistakes, things you need to go back and fix, anything. Just hit Q on the keyboard and type away. Includes are crucial to your organization in Construct 2. As you can see here, I have my level, and in the properties, I have the event sheet of level event. If I go to the level event, you can see that I include two things. I include my player event and my enemy event. Now this is really important because now my main level event that my layout is using, all it has to do is call code from other event sheets, and this helps me organize my code. By the end of my game, I could have an entire event sheet of includes. To make an include, you can go to the events tab, hit add include, and then pick the new event sheet that's not included in here. You can also right click include event sheet, or you could hit the end key and do the same exact thing. When you load up Construct 2 and you go file new, you usually pick either an empty project, a retro style project, or maybe an SD or HD project. But if you keep scrolling, you're going to see a bunch of templates and examples. This might be not new to you if you're advanced with Construct 2, but if you're just starting out, there's a platformer example, a top-down shooter, a space shooter, a driving game, turret defense, the list goes on and on with how many templates and demos they give you. Then, if you have ever wanted to see how a certain behavior works, there are examples for exactly that. You have your eight directional behavior, you have your nine patch object, you have your lighting, you have your audio effects, you have so many different things that you probably had questions about and always have wanted to learn, but have never actually found the right tutorial. And they're all right there under your nose. How to use instance variables, how to use gamepad control, how to scale the screen to being full, how to use families. There's so many different things. How to use the line of sight object. The list just keeps going on and on. Multiplayer stuff. So if you've ever been stuck and you've always wanted to take your Construct 2 skills to the next level, here is a great place to start. Holding down control is one of my favorite tips. All you have to do is in your layout editor, select an object, hold down control, hold down left click and drag and let go. And then you can easily make copies of that object. Now here's where it gets to be really cool. The same thing applies to your event sheet. So if you have an event you need a copy, just hold down control, left click and drag and you can make a very easy copy. Look, I'm just making a bunch of copies of this and then you can go in and replace your events for every single one. But how easy is that? The tile map object is a huge time saver and it's so easy straight out of Construct 2. All you have to do is double click, make a new tile map object, left click again, and then you already have a default tile map, but what you can do is open up an image and use that for your tile map. You can also import something from tiled if that's the way you like to make your tile maps, but then you can go into your tile map properties, set the width and height of your tile map, and then come over here and select the tile you want to use. So in this case, I'm using the pencil tool and I'm drawing out my tile map just like this. I can also use the rectangle tile tool, which is something that I use to fill in spaces, which is really helpful. Then of course I can erase tiles and just make sure that when you're done, you go back to the normal layout view selection so you can go back and actually maneuver around Construct 2. Thanks so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see more, then please subscribe to my channel. If you have any suggestions of videos that I should be making, then please leave a comment below and I will be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Again, I am Jeremy Alexander. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.